everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be making these faux locks for your journal. These are just a fun, cute little way to close your journal cover. So we are going to be showing you a couple different ways that you can attach these to your journal. Let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, I printed the book locks and straps on cardstock. And as you can see, the kit comes with a wide variety of just colors and styles that you can use for your journal. And so we're going to cut some of these out today and I'll show you a couple different ways that you can attach them to your journal cover. Okay, so I've cut out a couple of locks along with their matching straps and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to attach these to your journal covers. And you can mix and match these. You don't have to use the same ones together. You can say, oh, this strap looks better with this lock. That's fine. Do whatever you want, whatever works best for your project. But to start with, I'm going to set this one aside. And I don't have an actual journal for this. I just have a kind of faux cover for us to work with, but you'll understand kind of how it works with a real journal. And um, if you're curious, this is from our um, antique book covers and our pretty spines kit. And then this one is from our Christmas book covers and Christmas spines. So I'll try to put links down below for those kits if you wanna get those for yourself. So to begin with, we're just gonna fold everything in half. So there's a line right here that I'm gonna fold this in half on just like that. And to make it easier, you can always score. I scored mine ahead of time. And I noticed when I did, there's actually a little bit of white here. So I'm going to trim that off just like this. Okay. And then our lock, same thing. We're just going to fold it in half. And if you want to, you can trim up the edges, you know, round your corners, or you can add some distress ink to kind of hide the white edges. I'm not going to bother with that today, but this would be a good time to do that if you're going to. Okay, and then for this first one, I'm going to show you a method that uses eyelets and a magnet. And I'll try to put links down below. I think we have links in our Amazon influencer shop to some of these items. And these are just some very powerful little magnets and they don't wanna come apart very easily. There we go. Okay. And you can also, just so you know, I'm not going to show this method, but you can also just glue this piece to the back of your journal and fold it around and stuff. It's up to you how you want to use it. But today I'm gonna to show you a way to attach it that's a little more sturdy and maybe aesthetic. So to begin with, we're going to add our magnet inside this piece. Actually, to begin with, never mind, we're going to glue this piece together. If your journal is very thick, I don't have an example journal here. Let me see if I can find one. This guy's not very thick, but um, you want to adjust your strap to be the correct size. So once we hook it on the back and fold it over, if it's way too long, you may have to cut some of it off. And then this is where the lock will go. So just keep that in mind. You may need to adjust the size of your strap as you go along. Okay, so now that we have this glued, we're going to go ahead and add our magnet in here. And you want to make sure your magnet is facing the right direction so that it will magnetize to the cover. So I'm going to glue my magnet onto my cover first. And if you had a proper journal here, you could hide your magnet inside the inside cover of your journal. Or if you've already made your journal and you don't have anywhere to hide it, you could add some kind of decorative piece here, you know, just a little piece to kind of hide your magnet. So I'm gonna make double sure that I get these the right direction. Okay. And you can always mark it with like a marker to show which direction you want it glued in. And I'm actually going to put this one inside my lock first. I think that would be a good way to do this. Okay. 
So I'm just setting it in the center of my lock. And that way when I'm ready to add it to the journal, I can align it properly before putting the other magnet in. And then you can see this magnet sticks to that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach my lock to my strap, just like this. And again, you may want to um, measure first and then cut before you attach your lock. So, you know, if I have this hooked around the back and my journal is only this thick, I may need to cut this piece off so that my lock will fit properly. And I'm going to put glue on both sides of this so that um, it will hold my strap. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to attach it to the back cover of your journal. So for this method, we're going to be attaching it using eyelids. And to do that, you'll want to punch a couple of eyelet holes in your strap. And I'm just punching two holes. You can see I got just a little bit off. This one's a little higher than this one. So you may want to measure first and, and draw a little line where you want to put your eyelet. And then on the back cover, you can always adjust if you realize you've made your strap and it's not the right size, you can make it go further or further back on your cover. It's up to you. And then if you did that, you might want to add a couple more eyelets just to secure it onto the back. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it like this. punch my holes and if you've never used this before this is my crocodile and it punches holes and then sets eyelets and it's the crocodile big bite so it's got this really long piece so that you can go like all the way to the center of your journal to punch holes if you want to and this is in our Amazon influencer shop as well okay And then I can use this to set my eyelids using the eyelid setter. Okay, so now we've got this attached to the back cover. And the reason I used two eyelets instead of one is because if you use just one, this will swivel and move, which isn't a big deal. If you want to do it that way, you certainly can. Okay, and then we'll decide kind of where we want it on our front cover, and that is where we'll glue our magnet. And then your journal can close using the magnet, just like that. So that is how to use the magnet and eyelets. And now we're going to do a different one. And we're going to use Velcro and brads. So I'll show you how to do this one. Okay, so to begin with, we've got our lock and our strap. And again, we're just gonna fold them in half we'll glue our strap together. And then we're going to go ahead and attach it to our back cover, which is this one. 
And you can decide again which way looks best. If you want, you know, this showing up on the back cover or this, you know, it's up to you. I think this looks nice, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna attach it with brads. And brads are just these little fasteners. These are actually Tim Holtz ones, and I'll put a link down below again for these. Um, just head over to our Amazon influencer shop and they should be there. And I'm going to go ahead and punch holes again with this using the small setting. And there's a small punch right there that we'll use. And before you attach it, you may want to just take a look at your front cover and make sure that this is going to go where you want it. You know, you don't want it covering a picture or accidentally hitting some sort of decoration on the front cover. So I think just kind of in the middle somewhere works for me. Okay. And then to attach it with the brads, you just align your holes and place your brad through the hole. And then on the opposite side, it just opens up. And again, you can cover this with your inside cover when you're making your journal. But if you've already made your journal and now this is showing, you could always use some sort of decorative piece just to cover it up. You could use a bit of lace or a fussy cut image or just some cute little circle punch. So now that's attached to our back cover and we'll pull it around to do our front cover. And again, if this is way too big, go ahead and trim some of it off. And then our heart just goes, our lock will go around this. And we'll put glue on both sides again so that we make sure that that strap is secure in here. And then for Velcro, I've got these Velcro dots. And you can use the whole dot or you can cut it in half. I'll go ahead and use a whole one on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over the lock on the inside. We won't see this unless we open the journal. And then I'll get a matching uh, piece. And what I'm gonna do is Velcro these together and then you can Put it where you want it on your journal cover and press down hard. And then that is your Velcro piece. And this one's fairly clear, so it shouldn't show up too much on your journal, but again, it's something to consider. If you don't want a piece of Velcro on your journal, you may want to consider the hidden magnet method instead. And then you can also fold your strap so that it has kind of a square shape to it. And there you go. You've got a cute little lock for your journal. Just like that. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you'll try these fun little faux locks on your journal. If you're going to, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more uh, fun journal projects and also some freebies every once in a while. So stay tuned for those and we will see you guys next time.